So this is my third video where I try to come out of my satirical character a little bit and talk about some things that are important to me and how I really do feel about them. And in this one, I'm going to talk a little bit about a few more politicians, a little bit about the rich getting richer and immigration. So let me get started. I don't think that Ted Cruz and Kevin McCarthy and Marjorie Taylor Greene or Matt Gates or Josh Hawley, Jim Jordan, and the biggest horse in the stable, Mitch McConnell, if I can include some Kentucky humor, I don't believe they're great politicians who are upholding our Constitution. I think they're the opposite. And when they proudly proclaim their belief in Christianity and act like the Jesus in my fictional Bible, the Gospel of St. Everest, um, instead of the opposite, who is Jesus that we know in the common Gospels, I get sad and I get angry at times. And I believe that the rich are getting richer. As each decade goes by and more and more money is being pushed to the top and away from people who have a hard time making ends meet, I think it's time we have to realize unless some of that money comes back down, we are all going to be in trouble. And I find it sad that those who want government to be smaller and have no influence on business gladly support laws that take away things like health insurance and minimum wage, but totally accept tariffs. They accept tax breaks that only the richest can get. And when Christians say we're a Christian country and that we should have all Christian laws, I point to countries who have one religion as their basis for laws and ask you, how are they doing? And you need to look at our country. We have so many different faiths. We have people with no faith. They're all good people and they're all Americans. And we need to create laws that represent everybody. Diversity makes our country great. We have benefited from all the great minds and the hard workers who have come to this country to make it better. In the USA, we have like an all-star team that makes our country great. We have people who've come the best in the world. We are so lucky. We need to continue to embrace diversity. And while we do need better control of our borders and better laws or law enforcement on those borders, we need to remember that Jesus was a refugee and that the Bible orders us to treat immigrants with love and respect. You know from the Gospels that we read that Jesus was politically savvy, as I said, but not political. And do you know why Jesus and his followers were given such a hard time? Yes, there were people who were upset with him by what he was saying and that he was revealing that he was the Lord. One of the reasons they gave Christians a hard time was because Christianity is tough and sometimes makes no sense in this world. It isn't practical at times because life can be tough and people are taught to only look out for themselves. It's not always natural to put others above yourself, but that's what Jesus was telling us to do. And in our lives, in this crazy world, it can make absolutely no sense. Finally, too often, too many of these politicians have no class. I would not want any of my staff, any of my students to act like these people. They're demeaning and they're ignorant of what they're doing to our country. As Christians, it is hard not to judge. But here's the problem. When you take Christ out of Christianity, you make Christianity no longer the possible solution to some of our problems. You make Christianity the problem in finding solutions. So having said all that, and having said all these things about how I really feel about these issues, you might ask me, what's the point of doing satire? If you really believe all these things, why don't you just say them? 
I just did. Thanks for listening.